It's a time for a package from China. And no, it's not broken because they can pack up these things very well. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because in this video, we are going to take a close look at something pretty damn weird. Yeah, so this is the Y2 fit. And the fit, they mean like getting into shape. Okay, but the thing is like, we have seen a lot of these weird 8 bit, 16 bit. There are so many of these things, but this is something completely new. And I'm guessing it's from Datafrog. There's no brand on it. It's also convenient if they don't do that. What you're going to get is the same stuff like always. We're going to get this tiny dongle. And it's an U, uh, I almost want to say USB, an HDMI device. Let's see how big the SD card is. 512 megabyte. Oh boy, that cannot be good. And the reason I'm saying it like that is that when you're using smaller cards, we're going to get some 8-bit stuff or whatsoever. Inside, we're going to get knockoff Nintendo Wii controllers, like always, only different, and they are different, smaller, and quite a unique shape. Well, even some little grip over here. They are working with one triple A battery, so that's quite interesting. Okay, let's see what we're going to do more. We're going to get the safety straps. You don't throw them at your television. Yeah, micro USB cable for the power, and the, oh, even for a cheap device like this, we're going to get an extension. Yeah, and the reason why, because sometimes these sticks are too thick and you can't stick it in. So, therefore, they're going to give you an extension. Let's see if you're going to need it, because I'm curious about it. But it makes me wonder, it's like, is this thing having a move controller inside? That is an interesting thing, because with cheap devices, you never know. So the thing is like the fit console. And the reason I review this stuff on my channel is because I'm so fascinated about cheap stuff. Ah, in the, the indication is going to start blinking. Uh, okay, A, B, X, Y, no shoulder buttons. This is not actually like a D-pad, rubbery, select and start. Okay then, let's go. Okay, so let's plug it in. So this time I can plug it in, so I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to get myself the micro USB cable, plug it in into my USB port and let's see if it's boot up. Okay, when you're powering on the TV, the dongle goes on automatically. It by the way stays on because there is no way of shutting it down. So then we're going to get the options to play classic games and interactive games. Interactive games are like knockoff games from the Wii and of course game that you have maybe seen before. And when I mean what you have seen before, it's quite simple my fellow gamers. It's like this is just a freaking pile of crap if you ask me. And most of the games are like 16-bit-ish but in overall they don't have a good motion control functionality whatsoever. So I will show you like with Fruit Ninja how bad it actually is. I have seen Fruit Ninja or a knockoff game that was almost identical like the original one, but this time it didn't go all the way there. So let's see what happens. So the only thing that you need to do is like, do this. There is no motion control like the switch. I do see even some freaking screen tearing over there, but that's it. That is what the functionality is. I slice like this and it slices the fruit on the other side of the display. You can just basically go do this like crazy. And that's the thing that it will do. Freaking rubbish. In the metal also says, yeah, there was a piece of toilet paper metal that I forgot to show you. Like, you need to hold select and start. But you need to hold it every single time if you want to go be in step. If you want to go step back. And yeah, like, out of nothing, it just start up the game. Okay. Can I go back from this? Yeah, I can. But that's how it works. It seems to be working, but this is not the best way in my opinion. But yeah. Let's try the classic games and see what it is. Okay, so let's take a close look at the classic games. So guess what? It is more 8-bit footage because this is always the thing that they added. 500 Russian games or something it says here. Yeah, so all these games are like in a different language. So it's something we don't want or I don't. So everything has been put in a different folder, B, C, you name it, everything is here. What is collection? Nothing. They added a folder that doesn't make any sense. So that's it. Let's boot it up. Let's play some 8-bit. On the fit system. 
Oh, okay, so let's see. Let's pull the pot plunger. Oh, crap, bouncing it. The controls seem to be working very good. But this is the thing that they're always doing, like, selling it like a fit system on Bloody Blast system, but in the end, they're adding a lot of NES games or something different. Such a weird thing. Can we go back by pressing select to start? Yep, seems to be working like a charm. Okay, so let's try another game just to see for fun. There is no weird, weird filter over it. Oh man, and I can say like games like this where you need to have all the directions of the D-pad, you can just realize that it is so bad and makes these games just unplayable. Okay guys, yeah, so the Y2 Fit Console. So the thing is like with these dongles, you never know what to get. By the way, it does get really hot after using not a long time. So I'm not very pleased about that. The controllers are freaking awful. I can say that like they're adding and again, some a bit stuff to it. There's something they're always doing or most of the time. So the motion control, in my opinion, is just rubbish. It's just really horrible, makes no sense. The dongle itself, yeah, looks kind of cool, but we have seen it before in many different reviews. And overall, like the Y2 is one of the many systems they released back today by Datafrog. We're having so many of these things now. Is this thing worth picking up? <sighs> Absolutely not. It's kind of weird that they're creating something like this again. Yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this? What do you think of these plug and play devices? In 2021, it's just a freaking invasion of these things. There are, in my opinion, way too many. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell, become one of the wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.